Just 50 minutes south of Dublin with a population of over 14,000 people, this quaint coastal town is where we called home for seven days. In this video, we'll take a stroll through the town, share with you some good eats, and if you've ever thought about doing the Greystones Cliff Walk, we'll show you a bit of the trail and give you our honest opinion. Welcome to Greystones! We took a blue bus from the Dublin airport into Greystones and once we arrived we couldn't wait to explore the town. The downtown area is great for boutique shopping, authentic dining, there's lots of seafood options, great dessert places. We chose Las Tapas for our lunch spot. As soon as we walked in it had a warm and cozy feeling. They had real candles on every single table. Our food was excellent, service was great, and my white sangria was delicious. But my most favorite store was the sweet shop across the street. This tiny little store was packed from floor to ceiling with every type of candy imaginable. It was definitely a hit with the kiddos and the adult kiddos too. While we were in Ireland, I stumbled across two snacks that I've never seen before chocolate covered sunflower seeds and these shamrock and sour cream chips. <laughs> Say that five times real fast. We found the harbor area very well kept and there's new condos being built right by the marina. It's a great area to stroll around. I enjoy looking at all the boats in the marina and the coastline is just beautiful. While we were walking around the marina, we also saw seals playing in the water. There are some great restaurants down by the water as well, and a place called The Boatyard where they have food trucks serving up delicious eats. While we walked around town, I felt like I was in the movie The Holiday. It was beautiful. Just past the marina is where you're going to start the cliff walk. There are a few different trails you can do, one that goes to Bray and back, a loop cliff walk, or you can just do the Bray head loop. The cliff walk is very well marked, so not to worry. We found conflicting things online about whether or not the cliff walk was actually open or closed, so we just decided to go for it. This trail was well equipped and it even had an AED, which I thought was great. For most of the trail, it was flat and narrow terrain. There were a few gated areas that we could walk around or over. We never felt like it was too dangerous that we had to turn back. The ground was very steady, so we just carried on. Thank you. 
this point, we had been walking for a while and noticed our view of the water is completely gone. So we decided to not complete the out and back trail because, well, the hike wasn't exactly what we were expecting with minimal views and pickers. Lots and lots of pickers. So we turned back where we did have a good view and called it the cliff walk. Well, for us anyway. We were thankful it wasn't raining, even though it was very windy that day, and the hike kept us warm. For those of you that are watching who travel with their dog, there is a dog park just at the beginning of the trail. Now, I can't give the cliff walk a complete review because we didn't complete the whole thing, but I will say as a group, we expected to see a lot more of the cliffs than we did, with the name being cliff walk and all. But to be honest, I'd rather just walk the coastal road or the beach to get great views, or just sit at the marina and watch the boats or the seals. <laughs> We did a house sit while we were in Ireland and that's why we were in Greystones. Even though we were here for seven days, Ireland is definitely a place we look forward to going back to. If you ever get the chance to go to Ireland, I definitely recommend a visit to the quaint little town of Greystones. Our next adventure has already began and we'll be taking you back to Thailand to an area we've never explored before. Thanks for watching guys and hope to see you in Thailand.